Here's a quick overview of Folio for Gmail. My name's Paul, I work at Ametry, and I'll be your guide. So we're clicking Install Folio, that uh, adds it to Chrome, and then I allow these permissions to let it connect to my Gmail. And now we can see this quick start guide that tells us all the things that Folio does for us. You'll only see this the first time. And now what it's doing is it's looking back in this inbox for keywords and phrases that would indicate that there's a transaction. We'll skip ahead a few minutes because this can take some time. And as you can see on the left side, you see all those addresses. Those are smart folders, but it's also accessible from this drop down, this menu here. And so we'll select a transaction to, to set up a smart folder. You can see there's the sidebar on the right side where I can see all the contacts, all the files that are related to it. It's automatically pulling those in and making them organized. Okay, then it's going to ask you to indicate who you represent the transaction. And based on the communication and the emails, we're able to even suggest who the clients might be. So you confirm that by clicking in there. And then it'll ask you to confirm some key dates of the transaction. That's how it starts to build that timeline you see on the right sidebar. We'll learn more about that timeline in a second. So based on those key dates, it generated that basic timeline. You can edit it from the sidebar. You can add key dates. You see there's suggested dates at the bottom there. But let's go to the timeline site it creates to see what that experience is like. So this is a timeline that you can use for yourself, but also share with your clients to help keep everyone on the same page. Uh, you can see you can, there's a space where you can add the service providers that you like to work with and resources. So let's add a date. In this case, we'll start typing inspection. We've already pre-stocked this with some common key dates and contingencies. You can add a specific time that this event is to occur. And then, of course, you can add notes here. Now let's add an inspector under service providers here since we just added the inspection date. You can click add a service provider and start typing and because it connects to your Google account it actually has your contacts there to pre-fill. And you only need to add this person as an inspector once and we'll save it for future transactions as well that you can, you can add them in. You can also add an escrow and title company. And save that. And now they show up here on the, on the timeline site. You can add another date, the appraisal. And then let's add a final walkthrough. All right, now we have this great timeline site that we can share with our clients. And the way we do that is click the little share icon. Their names will be pre-populated there because we selected them earlier. You can edit this text if you want to. And it's just a preview of the email that they'll get when you share a timeline with them. So let's send it to share. And it's worth mentioning the only thing that gets shared when you share a timeline is this timeline site. They don't get any of your smart folders or emails or contacts or files or anything like that. And we'll click the folio icon to get back to the inbox. When we do, you'll see in the sidebar that timeline that we just created, which of course we can edit from here as well. And this sidebar shows up anytime you look at an email that's part of a smart folder. And I'll show you the correct timeline. And when you click on one of these dates, you can edit it there. And of course, you can view all these dates in your Google Calendar and elect to share that Google Calendar with your clients as well so they can add it to theirs. And the last thing I'll show you today is how to manually create a smart folder in case Folio misses one of your transactions when it does its scan. So when you click the Folio button, you get that drop down and you can click Create Smart Folder and just start typing the address. The rest of the setup is the same. It'll ask you who you're representing and to identify the clients and anyone else working on the transaction, and it'll prompt you to create a timeline for that transaction as well. And that's it. If you have any questions or feedback for us, you can click the support slash feedback link on the bottom right-hand corner of the sidebar, and we hope you enjoy Folio.